Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can group sheets and quickly get information onto multiple sheets just by typing on the first sheet. So what I'm going to do is get myself down here four sheets and then I'm just going to name them Jan, Feb, March and Total. So I'm just double clicking where it says sheet and then typing in the name and then what I will do is group them and then you'll see how this works so I'll go into the fourth sheet and just call that total for now so what you need to do is go to the first sheet which in this case is January or Jan hold your shift key down and then click on the total sheet the last one now what I'm going to put in the top here in cell B2 I want to go on every sheet so I'm just going to go week one there and then if I get the little cross in the corner, pull that across to week five. And then after that, I want the word total. And then this is going to be income expense, income expense, and then balance. Balance. And we'll call it, um, let's do merge on this one. Merge and center that one across. Call it weekly and what can we call it? Weekly sales. Then I want to highlight this area, put all borders on that one. Then this one I want, oops, this one, this area I want to be colored yellow, like so. Now I need to put a formula in here to work out what the balance is. So this is just going to be equals whatever goes in there minus that so b3 minus b4 and then I can get a little black cross and pull that over this one wants to be a sum so there's a sum function sum doesn't pick anything up because there's no figures so you have to tell it where to look b3 to f3 tick and then I want to pull that down and then last but not least I want to highlight all of this area and make it formatted into currency now if I go on to February February look is exactly the same so is March so is the total so what I want to do on the total is obviously I need to link this together I need to change this total slightly so I'm just going to highlight column E and F and then delete the column so I've now just got week one which I need to change to be January and then if I click on that with a little black cross pull that over for March and then what I want in here is the total figure this figure here from January so what you do is you just go equals go down to January click on the cell you want that one check it and then click the tick and then you can just pull that one down for expense you've already got the formula there for the balance now you do the same for February equals Feb, total, check, tick, pull it down, and then March equals March total, check, tick, pull it down. So now you've got everything linked up. What you need to do is test the figures or some figures. So I'm just going to put myself £10 for week one and five pound expense so I'm expecting that to work that out it does and it does at the end February I'll do the same for week one ten and five and then March do the same ten and five so this should say thirty and fifteen if I come on to the total it says thirty and fifteen ten and five ten and five ten and five that's what I want and then what you can do is do a little chart so if you go insert column chart is what I want and that one but I don't want it to look like that so let's just go through the process so let's take that tick off see what happens no nope, don't like that let's leave that one as it is data series let's Data's in rows. 
yeah, Jan, Feb, March, that's better. It's up to you how you want this to sit. Um, chart title, it's just sales, that'll do, finish. So very quickly, you've created a, a spreadsheet that's all linked up. It's got yourself a little graph at the end of it. So any of these figures that, that are changing will be picked up from here. If I just put 50 pound in on that one, go back onto the total sheet. You don't have to worry about this picking up the wrong information because this is just going to pick up whatever goes on the total for January, which is 60 pound now. 60 pound and if I do the same on February week four say put something in there and then put so we've got a negative figure there go back to the total it picks it up like that so this is just a very quick look at how you can use the grouping sheets feature or linking sheets to get information onto every sheet quickly the same information on every sheet without needing to do copy and paste and then how to link it together so you can have a summary sheet that's automatically updating like this one is. So hopefully that was of use for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.